Retro Unboxing. Hello viewers, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jonathan. I'm quite excited to give you a bit of an update today. Uh, there's, there's quite a lot to go through, so I will try and be quick. First and foremost, this Mac is now running Monterey. Um, I've installed it via OpenCore and everything seems to be running pretty well, pretty smoothly. Um, I've managed to get a game, uh, well I've, I've downloaded a few games, everything seems to be running very well. The games are running pretty high spec or pretty much uh, full spec on 1080p and um, they're kind of running okay at 4k which is quite surprising, quite impressive. So, so that's that. So we're on Monterey. Um, I've, I've put the uh, the SSD in there. That's got Monterey on it. I've kept another SSD with uh, Mojave on it, just in case I have any problems with Monterey. I'm not going to go into the Open Core install in this video, um, primarily because I'm planning on doing it again. Something went slightly wrong. Um, I have an issue with uh, with EFI or with, with BIOS or whatever the problem is. I, I don't know enough about these things to, to fully understand what's gone wrong. Well, I'm going to do it again, and when I do do it again, I'm going to pop it onto that. Because one of the things... So the, the primary focus of this video, I've just given you a quick update, but the primary focus of this video is that I'm going to be upgrading the storage. and. Um, one of the main things I'm going to be doing is, is sticking this in and uh, what I have got to go with that is this box here or is in this box here which is an ASUS or ASUS I always thought it was ASUS but apparently it's actually ASUS like Jesus but uh, yeah, what I've got here is this quite swanky looking uh, PCI card and what this has is the ability to put four of these in here which slots into a spare PCI socket and, um, and in theory should give me pretty much the best hard drive speeds. So that's that. Just to oh, offer that up, it's... It's, it's pretty close, isn't it? But, uh, you know, that's that's okay. I'm going to install that in the top slot there so it's it's out of the way of the graphics card. So that is something I'm going to be installing on this video. Uh, the next thing to very just briefly talk about is that I'm going to stick this in. Uh, it's got uh, USB 3.1 and USB-C. Now, I'm not expecting to get ridiculous speeds out of this. Um, this is honestly mainly for convenience in terms of just having three um, USB um, 2 slash 3 slash 3.1 uh, ports and then the two USB ports just for the convenience of having USB-C. So that is also going in here. That is the converter that came in the Mac in the first place so if you saw the original video you would have seen that that had that disk drive in it and had um, the original Catalina etc etc. Uh, I, I, I think I've buggered this one up with some open core um, failed, failed install so I need to have a look at that which I will do later on. So what I'm going to do now I've got this hard drive fully installed with Monterey that is going to go in there and get reinstalled. What I am going to just check though is whether this uh, affects the uh, drive speed. I don't think it will. Um, I, I'm certainly not expecting it to affect the drive speed positively, but if it's going to affect the uh, SSD speed negatively, then I won't use it. So before I crack on with installing everything, I just need to do a quick drive speed test on that SSD. I have already done one. I think it was running about 250 uh, write, 300 read. Um, but I'll, I'll do a, another quick test just for the video and then I'll retest when I've installed the SSD into here. So that's that. That was the original hard drive uh, that well came in the computer and I purchased it. I have upon further inspection noticed that this was manufactured in 2011 so that is out. 
I'm not putting that back into this computer. I'm not throwing it anywhere either because that could cause some damage. Uh, but what I am going to do is stick this 2 terabyte HDD in. Uh, this actually came out of a 2011, uh, was it the 27 inch or was it the 21 inch? It might have been the 21 inch. But that was on another video I did recently. I did an SSD install on a, a 2011 uh, iMac and this drive was already in that. So um, I'm just going to format this and bang that into here as, as just mass storage basically. So that's going to go into that bay there. And then just to test that, I've just got an external SSD. These are quite important because I'm a photographer, videographer, and you need to get everything onto the computer as quickly as possible and then transfer it around the computer as quickly as possible. So if I'm going to be able to use this on a day-to-day -day basis, it really needs to have pretty decent um, disk speeds uh, and, and transfer speeds. So that's why it's pretty important for me. So I've got a couple of different cables so I can test this. And then lastly, this gets a stay of execution. Um, mainly because a viewer of the previous video where I upgraded this graphics card to that graphics card, the 580, uh, pointed out the fact that this may come in handy. And pretty much immediately after I saw that comment and removed my listing from eBay, I was messing around with OpenCore and immediately needed to put this back into the Mac. So Matt Fouch, thanks very much very wise and uh, I've taken your advice and I'm keeping this just in case. I'm sure I'll need it again. So that's it. I've got all that stuff to install. I'm going to crack on with it now and I will walk you through it as I go. So I'm going to drop in and out of this voiceover as the uh, this section of the video progresses. But uh, all I'm doing here is, is what I was saying that I was going to do and that's just testing the uh, internal SSD that or the boot drive uh, just a quick speed test on that while it's just plugged straight into SATA and then while I've got it plugged into the um, the adapter box basically uh, the video didn't sort of focus properly there so apologies for that but you can see I put the SSD back in in the adapter box started the computer back up done another quick speed test and for all intents and purposes they're, they're identical. The reason I've just done that is to say I, I didn't want the adapter box to hinder the speed of the SSD uh, through its own circuitry or whatever. So uh, so yeah now I've done that I'm satisfied that the speed isn't hindered. I'm going to start cracking on with getting all of the other bits installed into the tower. I do like this little bit of uh, equipment. £39.50 is all that cost me. And it's it's a it's a quality piece of aluminium. It's really, really weighty, really thick. Uh, so you can see, you know, it's an effective heat spreader and heat sink. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy that, uh, that this is going to be exactly what I need. I just noticed there, later in the video this will come up again, but I've noticed that it does say, you know, X16 there. Um, so, you know, it's going to need to be plugged into an X16 slot for uh, maximum uh, maximum performance. Uh, I enjoyed having a little fidget spin with that uh, little fan there. These uh, NVMEs are brilliant. I mean, if this was plugged directly into a motherboard of a modern PC, you're getting kind of four or five thousand um, megabytes per second in terms of uh, you know read and write speed. Obviously, I'm not expecting anywhere near that with this. Uh, I obviously already know what speeds I do get because I've I've already done that part of the video. Um, I won't spoil it. You'll you'll find out in due course. But it's not bad. I'm, I'm quite pleased with the performance uh, coming out of this. But just uh, getting this all installed, pull the tape off, stick that back on there, and uh, I'll be back with you shortly.
so yeah this uh, this two terabyte drive I, I think I was I was trying to explain earlier on in the video basically I did a refurb uh, project a couple of weeks ago of a, an iMac uh, from 2011 but it had previously been refurbished by someone else or the um, internal drive had been uh, replaced by someone else and um, that was done recently so that drive is actually from 2020 so it's quite nice but also this uh, Acasa, Acasa, Acasa uh, card USB card um, I, I bought this as I said earlier through for convenience really of having a couple of USB-C slots um, I, I wasn't sure what sort of speeds to expect and it's kind of occurred to me after doing the video now that I might have got better speeds if using an X16 slot obviously the Mac Pro does only have two X16 slots and two X4 slots. First and foremost, the graphics card has got to go into one of those X16 slots. Uh, I had decided to put the um, NVMe PCIe card into one of the X4 slots because I felt that it was just going to be a bit too close to the graphics card had I used the second X16 slot which is why you can see me putting it in up there you'll see a little bit later on that does now obviously affect the transfer speeds so it's a bit of a bit of a kind of quandary that's going to be ongoing really is is as you, again you'll see a little bit later in the video you get better speeds from x16 slower speeds from x4 but using the x16 slot the card is basically touching the graphics card um, it's clipping the fans and as i say you'll you'll see that a little bit later on but now i've got everything installed got the computer turned back on and uh, straight into some speed tests the first test i thought i might as well since i'm doing speed test i thought i might as well just do the uh, that big old uh hdd um and because the limitation of sata 2 is 300 megabytes i wasn't expecting um massive uh, massive speeds so i've just uh, just getting everything formatted um, so yeah, just doing the speed test on the main HDD now. 200 megabytes read, 200 megabytes write. Oh, I think that's that's okay. You know, for SATA 2 for a, a, a spinny disk drive, it, it it is what it is. In all honesty, I probably won't use it that much. I've, I've got all sorts of SSD uh, drives, internal, external. I probably won't use it but this this is the one that I wanted to be uh, pretty good which is the internal uh, NVMe uh, plugged into the PCIe slot and I, I don't think that's bad uh, as I said that's in an X4 slot and you definitely would expect improvements in an X16 slot um, not quite sure why there was a a bit of a delay there in in getting the um, getting the speed up but it seemed to start off at 30 megabytes then it shot up to 300 and then upon further testing you'll see in a moment that the read speed um, weirdly is you know 292 now but then it's 760 something second second and third time round uh, yeah so like I say I'm not entirely sure what that was all about but uh, you know left the left the test going for a, a few moments and yeah 750 read 760 sorry 750 write 760 read give or take so then i wanted to test the usb card uh, disregard this second cable it's occurred to me uh, although it's a nice braided cable it's actually just a charge cable so um, it's not really rated for data transfer but to check to check these drives the other um, external ssd drives i'm actually using a, a thunderbolt cable so that's going to leave no um, performance issue uh, in terms of connecting the uh, drive to the, um, the, the you know the external ssd drive to the computer um, and, and i got some very strange and mixed results with these external drives so this is a kind of trusty uh, trusty old uh, USB-C um, external 
WD drive um, that I've had for a few years and I've used it on all sorts of stuff and, and maybe maybe it's just you know losing its usefulness its uh, effectiveness the uh, the write speed as you can see there is varying from 190 to 250 and and that's okay you know it, it seems to speed up slow down a bit it, it is what it is and then uh, frankly the read speed pretty much hit it's it's kind of uh, its limit um, you know these SSD really operate at about 500 megabytes a second so for that to be hitting sort of 4, 450 460 there is, is is pretty good but yeah mixed mixed results on the uh, on the right the, the disc had been formatted so I, 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 I don't know what's going on like I say it may be just because I've, I've used it a fair bit what I've got here, I've not planned on using, but I was just curious uh, to see how this would do. And this is basically a, an M.2 um, M MVME drive, a Sabrent rocket, I think, maybe two, 2,500 megabytes per second in ideal conditions, uh, which I've got in a USB-C enclosure. Uh, and this did really, really well. This actually performed pretty much the same as the... Uh, the M.2, the MVME drive, I've got plugged in via the uh, PCIe uh, slot. Uh, I think the, the results were almost identical, um, give or take, about 750 uh, megabytes per second, as you will see on screen in just a short moment. I do wonder sometimes whether you should just let the um, let the drive do its thing for a few moments before running the speed test. I'm running the speed test the second I've plugged them into the drive and, and formatted them. Maybe they just need a moment. I don't know. But yeah, plug that in and, and straight away, like I say, 7, 7, 14, 7, 15 uh, on the right. And then uh, it, was, it was about 760, um, creeping up to 800 on the read speed which is which is great for an external drive in a uh, a Mac Pro uh, 5 comma 1 from what was it 2010 uh, apologies for the out of focus there um, what am I testing here? oh yeah so this was the last drive I tested and it's basically just a Seagate SSD that's badged as like an Xbox game drive um, so you could plug it. This was designed specifically, I think, for the Xbox One X. And I've used this in previous videos. I've used it for SSD uh, game tests for the uh, Xbox One X. And this did really well. This did much better than that WD uh, drive I tried a few moments ago. Here it is, look. Uh, and, and this did really, really well. Uh, I think it was pretty much hitting 400 read and four, 400 plus uh, sorry, it was hitting around 400 right. There we go, look, three, 380, 390, 400 on the right, and 500 on the read, which is absolute max. You know, that's, that's really good. Anyway, that's about it for disk speed test, so I'll hand you back over to me. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this video. I, uh, I've had some strange results, some good results and some strange results. The, uh, the NVMe card, I, I, th I don't know if that's about as, as best as it can do. Um, seven, seven to 800 uh, megabytes per second is, is still pretty good. I was wondering whether it would operate better in one of the X16, X16 slots as opposed to one of the X4 slots. So I'm going to explore that in another video. Um, the problem with that is that the graphics card is sitting in the X16 slot at the bottom. The second X16 slot is, is there, so it's this card would be sitting right on top of the fans. So that's just not really doable.
doable. I could swap them around. I could put the um, NVMe card at the bottom and then the graphics card in the next one up. Um, but I quite like the graphics card sitting on this because this does get warm. So that sort of shows that the this is kind of working as a heatsink for the graphics card. So I'm not sure. And then the <laughs> some of the speed results from a couple of the uh, the external drives using this were really quite confusing. In theory, these should be identical. I've I've tested these on Xboxes and all sorts of stuff, uh, PCs, etc. And, and realistically, this should almost be identical. So that's kind of confused me a little bit. Um, but really good to see that the NVMe plugged into USB-C on here was really fast. It was actually pretty much the same speed as the internal NVMe. So confusing because these should both. It, it isn't a. It, it's definitely not. A, a limitation of this because they should both be hitting four to five hundred megabytes each and the fact that that hit 700 means that it, it wasn't the card that's bottlenecking those if that makes sense anyway so I'm, I'm gonna kind of explore all of that over the next uh, the next few days maybe the next couple of weeks um, uh, the next update for the Mac is going to be, I'm going to clean out the, uh, the CPU tray and then I've got two, um, I've got two Xeon, um, upgraded Xeon chips to put in, um, two, two new CPUs, obviously not new but the, the upgraded ones. Um, I haven't picked up any RAM yet so I think that's going to have to wait. Um, but I'll be I'll be working on the CPU tray in the next video, so keep an eye out for that one. Um, thanks very much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Retro unboxing.